Good morning and welcome from Disney's Magic Kingdom where it got a little more magical because Christmas has arrived here. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. I was going to say Jen's around somewhere and then there she I'm is. Here. She just appeared. I, I just thought I'm saying <laughs> Jen's around here somewhere but she's already here. Welcome to the vlog. So we're going to go check out some of the Christmas decorations and just have a fun day. So follow the adventure. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. Good tidings for Christmas and a Happy New Year. As we come in, they already have some Christmas decorations meeting us. Very, very light decorations. I'm sure that's going to be the theme of the day. And there she is. As we come in, the Christmas tree is already up. Which I already knew. We saw it on Facebook. It's been all over the Facebook and the interwebs. But babe, there it is. The giant Christmas tree. They put the... Why couldn't they put the scarecrows up? I know. They put, they put the nutcrackers up, but they didn't put the scarecrows up for Halloween. But, that's alright. It looks really good though. I'm happy. Yeah. We got wreath, light decorations, and like Jen said, they got the nutcrackers and the candy canes out. I love Christmas at Disney. Oh, Main Street looks amazing. I can't wait to get down there. And it's not very busy this morning. This could be a good day. I love all the Christmas toys, the jacks, the army of nutcrackers who apparently are getting ready for battle. I don't know who they're battling. But look, you got a little fire truck. So cute. Okay, so from first glance, it is a lot better than I did for Halloween. They did a lot more. I'm not sure that this is 100% completed. It's been up for a few days. I believe Sunday the tree was up and today is uh, Wednesday. But it looks great. I love all the wreaths going down Main Street USA. All right, so I saw pictures of the stage on Facebook and I just assumed it was for the TV show they're gonna film for Christmas, show. the Christmas show. Yeah, the holiday show. Yeah, but there's like a shaky bridge connecting the two stages, so they must be doing some sort of show during the show, right? No, I've never actually, we don't have cable, so I've never watched the Christmas thing. Uh, it, they stream it. Uh, I don't watch it. Oh. But it looks like there's going to be a show inside the show. And like they have the whole right side closed off and they have a film crew and makeup and all setting. Yeah, they're all setting up over there. I, I think it's later this something. week they're filming, right? Well, they're setting up like they're filming something today. For the health and safety of everyone. Interesting. All right, Jen has her heart set on the Jingle Cruise. Jingle Cruise. Now wait, have you, you've read it last year, right? Yeah. Finally. Finally. Last year was her first year. This year she wants to knock it out right away. So let's head, let's head to the Jingle Cruise, or the Jungle Cruise. Jingle. Jingle Jungle Cruise? Jungle Jen, this bodes well for wait times. I know. There's like nobody going into Adventureland. That's correct, because everybody's already in line. No, don't say that. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> There's nothing but space. We're safe right what now. Huh? I think it's a weekday. Yeah, it's Wednesday, and it's, and it's early. Yeah. With the slower crowd levels, I feel like people take their time getting to the parks. Even the carpet ride's only half filled. Basically walk on. 30 minute wait for Jingle Cruise, but I bet it's not that long. Jen, did you ever notice that they have a Santa hat on these skulls up here? It's so awesome. Oh my gosh, was this here last year? I don't remember. I met at a Fast Pass last year. I love the Christmas tree. I like the bamboo uh, Christmas star. I know. Oh my gosh, I love it. Holy, oh, I made little wreaths.
treats. I'm loving everything about this queue. Oh, that one's awesome too. Made of bamboo. And look, they decorated the whole office. I love it. I love the Charlie Brown-esque tinsel tree. It's amazing. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize how tiny it was. It's adorable. They even changed the notes in for Christmas parties and stuff. That's awesome. Oh man, I wish these were on. That would be amazing. I think that's how I'm gonna decorate my house this year. Just put bags of baubles all over the house and say we're decorated. I hate the spider, but the spider ooh, with a Santa hat is adorable. This snowman is everything. I love him. Welcome to the Jingle Cruise. I mean the Jingle Cruise. Sorry, that was my first Noel. Well, did you guys see our uh, decorations we have throughout the queue? Pretty cool, huh? We're supposed to get a lot more, but apparently the airdrop missed its target. So we gotta go find them. Maybe we'll find some along the way. Where do you get a snowman out of the day? Well, that's Burlap. He's uh, the uh, long lost cousin of Olaf. He kind of a part of uh, Olaf. He didn't make it face acting. Yeah, I think it was kind of under his nose. They didn't find it very appealing. <laughs> he has a little bit of a fixer effort, don't you think? <laughs> I just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you're wearing yellow or light green, try not to make it. Oh, this is our gift wrapping station for the Jingle Cruise. People have resigned to bankers and grill us, but as you can see, turnover's fantastic. Hey, look at that Jeep. I couldn't get it started. Looks like they finally got us to turn over. Probably use the monkey wrench. I would have called triple eight. <laughs> Dogs don't get any better during the holidays, no. <laughs> oh! Ow! Ow! See, Mr. Rhino, I string my popcorn! I would not want to be a low man on that totem pole. <laughs> Talk about a native uprising. I guess you can say their problems are behind them. And that, my friends, is why you never give us rhino fruitcake. <laughs> or anybody fruitcake, for that matter. That's my friend Ina there. Everybody say hi, Ina! Hi, Ina! Where you take the two words and put them together, you still have a bad joke. <laughs> oh, look at that. Maybe they're trying to spread holiday cheer. Here we have 12 drummers drumming, no, me, three drummers drumming, oh, uh, two drummers, oh boy. Now they usually attack over on the right, so we're going to keep rice peeled for anything unusual going on the right hand. Oh, that's unusual. They're changing skills. Everybody get down, get down. It's the ghost of Christmas hats. <laughs> I'm talking about the fear. They hurt like the dickens. <laughs> I had great expectations that joke would work. Everybody say, hi, Santa. Hi, Santa. Yeah. These are his salesmen. If you look closely, business is shrinking. He is trying to keep ahead of the competition, you know, during the holidays and all. He's offering a special. Three of his, one of yours. No matter how you slice it, nice, chop it off, you always come out ahead. Well, was it as good as the first time? It was better. Yeah, he was real good. Yeah, he was really good. He might be the best skipper we ever had. Ah, uh, he's tied with the girl I had last time. Yeah, they he, were, he was I feel really like good. they upgraded the speakers on the boats because you can all of a sudden I can hear what they're saying. Well, we also had a great team. True. But uh, that was he really was fun. Good. And he had a lot of good jokes. Oh, yeah. He's one of the few skippers that actually talks through the temple. Yeah, that's the first usually, time I've ever yeah, heard that. Yeah, usually it's he, quiet. I didn't creepy. film it because they usually just sit there and be quiet. And well, he you wouldn't have seen anything anyway. But dark. he had some really good jokes. Yeah, he was great. He was good. All right, let's go. One of the eighth wonders of the world. The Jingle Crew sign. I love when they change Nine. it over. Ten. A millionth. Who cares? It's awesome. No, Splash Mountain's not currently running. Not like Jen would ride it with me anyway. So sad. The boats are just all backed up. Not even moving. So not only did they drain the river where the Liberty Bell is, that's in between Frontierland and Tom Sawyer's Island, I just did this last year. I wonder why they're doing it again. Maybe it's a yearly thing. But look at all the Disney nature. Just eating whatever's left. All the way along, there's all kinds of birds. But specifically, this way, I spot some Disney ducks. This will make Jen happy. Oh, and I just spotted something I haven't seen in a very, very long time. A crane. I believe that might be over at Tron, but it looks really close to the castle. So I don't know, maybe they're doing something to the castle? I'm not sure. I'll have to take a look when we get closer, but it looks really close to the castle. Oh, look at Liver Lips. He's posing for me. He thinks I'm taking a picture. <laughs> oh, he's so adorable. Oh, he's just waving away to us. I don't know how well this is going to come out because I'm super zoomed in, but look at the, the child pin. It's a limited edition pin for the Mandalorian. So cute. So Jen, I lost. 
or I'm lost, one or the other. I think she said she went somewhere where there's some pin trading going on. I don't know. But now I'm just gonna sit here and people watch and wait. some more Christmas stuff. This is a refrigerator magnet. It is $14.99 and this is like the white theme. And then this is the other Christmas magnet. So cute. Uh, also $14.99. Then they have the phone case that matches Lee's mask. He could be like head to toe in the same theme. That's amazing. And then they have the, this one kind of matches my theme but not exactly. It looks like they're $30 each. I don't know if it's gonna be coming out, but they actually have the signs on today. They didn't when I was here the other day. And look, everything's really short. Yeah. Mine well, train's 40 minutes, which is kind of short. Peter Pan's 35, That's mine train's bad. 40, not terrible. Yeah, and Haunted Mansion is but 10 But Haunted minutes. Mansion said it was 10 minutes, and so we're, we're gonna book slowly meander quickly over to Haunted Mansion. 10 minutes standby for Haunted Mansion? Yes, please. I don't know if you can tell, but right in there, they've removed the rickety bridge. Stinks there's no stretching room, but I do like that everybody going to just one line because it's not like 8 million people smushed in on top of each other, pushing and shoving to try and get front. Um, it's so much nicer this way. This was walk on. Oh, literally, yeah. It's been like no time at all. We haven't even stopped. It is not at the med at the castle. It is the Tron train, but from over in uh, Frontierland, man, it looked like it was right on top of it. Crazy. Jen, I figured out why there's no lines. Why? Or no crowds, because everybody's in line. Yeah. Now, one thing we need to point out, Enchanted Tells with Belle, even though the sign is still here. The building's still there, too. The building's still there. It's been removed from the park map. Yeah, it's not on the park map anymore. So, so curse this gray stuffed cupcake. Because now Jen's addicted, and I think every time you come to the Magic Kingdom, I made it about that every time I came. I'm gonna write Disney and tell them to take it off the menu. <laughs> Jen, it's only a five-minute wait. We can't let pass this up, can we? No, and especially since we were, you know, visiting her dad earlier. True. And her. And her, yeah, her as in Ursula, or well, and Ariel. Ariel was there too. Yeah, but you kind of like blew her off. You were kind of rude to Ariel. Yeah, but I mean, it's Ursula. It's my girl. All right, five minute wait. Walk on. And we haven't done this in a while. I know. The funny thing about this queue is it's going to take longer to walk the queue than to ride the ride. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, I like to ask the people what they think it actually is. Do they pick it up? But then I always have to describe it. So this particular thing on a counter. I want everyone to shout out what it is. One, two, three. Well, actually, it's called a flaps bottle. And it's a great way to cool off. Now you just flip through it in a nice, gentle breeze. Of course, you can overdo it. Okay, take it away, fellas. I have never looked up in here in the queue for Ariel, and it is amazing. It's like the story. I love that we can notice little things like that now. Of the Caspian Sea. Look at 
this stuff. He's got this whole little pond to himself. I don't know if you can even see him because he's in the shadows there. And it's officially Christmas here in the Main Street Emporium. What is this thing? This is new. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, what is this? Uh-oh. We need this. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. How much is it? $40. $40. Oh, but how cool is that? Yeah, that is pretty epic. And it's wood, so it'll last. Last a long time. I haven't seen this pajama set yet. This is cute. It's a two-piece set. Minnie is embroidered in her Christmas finest. And then it just has pants to go along with it. And it is $50. Is there anything on the back? Nope. Just like a nice plain Christmas PJs. There's Christmas ones? Is that adorable. supposed to be Pluto? Yes. Oh my gosh. He's got that's reindeer. so cute. How much is he? Horns. Uh, $11.99. Cute. Is there other ones? So at least right here, there's only Pluto. But I will keep looking. Did you see the dog one? I did. Oh my gosh, look at this dog vest harness. <gasps> look at the hat. I love that. And this is $39.99. OMG, they have doggy pajamas. What? And it's Pluto pulling the train. I love everything about this. It's $34.99. It's interesting. The boys' PJs are sold as two separates. So there's the shirt for $19.99 and then the pants for $19.99. I wonder why it's not a full set. And then they have the girl, although I don't think, yeah, this is pajamas. Um, the little girl's nightgown for $26.99. And then I haven't been able to show all these yet. There is Santa Mickey for $9.99. Chippendale for $14.99. The 100 Acre Friends for $9.99. Slinky Dog for $9.99. Gonzo for Muppets and Friends for $9.99. Oh my gosh. Look at Goofy. He's all wrapped up in the scarf for $9.99. Then they have a very glittery, almost like gingerbread cookie, Millennium Falcon for $9.99. Oh my gosh, this one is amazing. The Jawas have wrapped R2-D2 like a present. That is glorious. $9.99. Yoda is forcing the star up onto the tree. That's amazing. Also $9.99. This is the one I need, though. It's Jum Santa Jumba and Reindeer Stitch. This is amazing. This is yellow for $12.99. They have the caroling Star Wars characters for $9.99. They have a Christmas Spider-Man delivering presents for $9.99. And then they have Groot and Rocket, and it does not want to focus. And Groot is all wrapped up in uh, Christmas lights. And this is $9.99. And this goes with this little Christmas Groot shoulder sitter. And is that $20? It didn't have a price. So I think it's $19.99, because that's what the Probably other ones yes, are. I've seen the other ones. Then there is a set of six Christmas stockings themed after the fab six um mini daisy donald mickey goofy and pluto for 25 that's actually not a bad deal and then just um the gingerbread mickey and the mickey and mini that i already showed this is nice this is like a christmas robe sweater this has pockets too it's 64.99 it is sherpa lined that would be really nice if you live somewhere cold Oh my gosh, so much new stuff that I haven't seen before and I'm literally dying and I want all of it. So this is a Santa plate. This, because it's gold plated, uh, that's actual like 24 karat gold. It is not dishwasher, not microwave safe, but they have Mickey and Minnie. These are $15 a piece and I think this one's my favorite. He's amazing. Oh wait, there's four well, There's a goofy one too. I love this. And again, they're all $14.99. This Christmas salt and pepper set's adorable too. It's Mickey and Minnie riding a train. Wow, it's $34.99, that's a lot. Then they have this gorgeous, one side is red with the embroidered char characters. It's a table runner. And the other side is the same design as my mask, the gingerbread characters. 
and it is $60, but it is 15 and a half inches wide by 72 inches long. This is cute. It's a light up Christmas sign, and I'm just doing that, try me. That's so cute, says tis the season to be jolly. And this bad boy is $39.99. This matches my mask. I love this. It's a gingerbread cookie ornament set. It's $44.99 and it's eight ornaments. That's a really nice set. Oh my gosh, so much stuff I haven't seen yet. Happy Mary Joy. I love this. This is women's pajamas. And this one is $36.99. And it looks like they have two of the spear jerseys right here the character one, and the green buffalo plaid. They also have the new peppermint Christmas lounge fly. This is something else, let me tell you. This thing is $75, that is quite a bow on there. This is a velvet pair of pajamas. It's a two-piece set. It's got the candy cane velvet pants and shirt for $44.99. They have these absolutely obnoxious it says Happy Holidays Reversible Sequin Slipper Socks. One's Mickey, one's Minnie for $29.99. Ooh, I like this. This is made by Spirit Jersey. Oh, it's a Spirit Jersey sweater. Oh, this is like a zip up sweater. It has pockets. I can only imagine how much this is. Holy crud. It's $119. That's insane. Then they have the Mickey socks and the mini socks, and there's no price on them, so they're $14.99 per pair. And it looks like they've pretty much changed over, at least here in the Emporium, to exclusively the new fabric for the masks. And they have a ton here. So here's all the Christmas ones in the middle. They have the one I got Lee, the one I got me, the Buffalo plaid Mickey, and the Peppermint Joy. They have Haunted Mansion, Small World, Star Wars, Tie-Dye Mickey, Mini Bows, Mickey, Classic Mini, Classic Mickey, Jack Skellington, Mickey Face, Goofy Face, The Child, Stitch, and Buzz Lightyear. Now please note, these newer ones, anyone that say new fabric that are the polyester are now $9.99 each. So they raised them up. Okay, and then when we come into the second section, it has the whole white line. This is a wild looking spirit jersey. It's partially sweatshirt material, partially Sherpa lined. Looks like it sheds really bad. Uh, says Walt Disney World on the back. And this one is $79.99, holy cow. Can y'all see this? This is a really, really pretty striped throw. It has like plain lines, it has Mickey ears. It is 60 by 72 and it is $59.99, and this is like kind of thin and really soft. So this would actually be really nice for here in Florida. I had to give up on the, the uh, white stuff for a second because they have the Christmas onesies this year. These are a little bit different. These are like a fleece almost on the inside. They're $69.99. They have the, the basic, the one that matches the spirit jersey. And then they have the one that matches like the lounge fly and the Crocs and the mask. And again, the adults are $69.99. And then they have the same two for kids for $49.99. So I think the only thing I haven't showed so far over here is the gingerbread um, magic band. It's a limited release, so it's amethyst or $29.99. Oh, this is so hard to see. This is really pretty. Oh, look at the front. Let's see, can I get the button to push? It's kind of hard, it's at a weird angle. I love that, it even like lights up the eyes on the snowman. This is called the Celebrate the Season Light Up Figurine, and it is $59.99. This is kind of cute. It's a mini ear wreath. It's just silver with the red bow, and it's $44.99. They also have some new ornaments. This is cool. It's Cinderella's Castle, says most magical season of all. It has a snowflake behind. Look closely, because like, can you see how this one, the paint's all messed up on it? This says it's light up. I don't want to pull the tab and mess it up, though. but this one's $26.99. And then they have one that's a Mickey with a little lamp with the snowflake in the back. Again, it's a light-up one for $26.99, but I don't want to pull the tabs, so. 
my gosh, how cute are these onesie sets? This is a four piece set. Says so Santa's little helper with mini. It comes with a peppermint mini bow. It comes with peppermint pants. Oh my gosh, that's adorable to go with the green one. Well, I guess it goes with either. All right, I'm struggling here. And then it comes with like this winter wonder scene onesie as well. So there's two onesies, the pants and the headband. And this is $36.99 and it looks like it goes from newborn to 18 months. And then they have the best gift ever. The boys is only a three piece set. So it's Mickey. It's kind of like an all over print. The Mickey wreath on the butt, that is amazing. Also has a peppermint pair of pants because this is one less piece, it's only $34.99. Oh, it looks like this new mini um, that they have has a holiday fashion set. This is $34.99. And this comes with the closet, three hangers, the mini doll, the red satin dress, head bow, purse, two pairs of shoes, a black and gold dress, sunglasses, and hanger pole. Pretty awesome. And then they have these amazing little kids leggings with the sequins down the side. And these are $29.99. And they also have the kids sweatshirt that says the Walt Disney World across the sleeves and has Minnie in her Christmas finest for $44.99. This is cute too. This is a cloth uh, wreath. It is the peppermint wreath with the green bow. And this is also $44.99. Oh my gosh, these things literally weigh like five pounds. Um, this is the newest balloon ears. They are a Christmas pair. Wondering, they don't have a price on them, so they must still be $29.99. But I mean, they weigh a ton and they have the hard plastic things because um, they weigh so much to help hold them on your head. Nope, they're $32.86. So usually when it's a price like that, it rounds up to $33 with tax. So it should be $33 total with tax. So this is called a snow wand. Um, it's basically the holiday bubble wand. And this is, I have no idea. Oh, $30. It actually says it's a snow blower. So I wonder if it blows snow. Oh, they have another new Starbucks mug. This is a Christmas, well, this is actually the ornament. Um, it's a Christmas mug for $14.99. And then here is the ceramic mug version of the Christmas Starbucks. Do, 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 do. And this one is $24.99. I think I like the purple one better. Oh, this is fantastic. I wish Kay was younger. This is a set of the princesses from Wreck-It Ralph Breaks the Internet from where they're hanging out. This is amazing. This is $124, but it comes with 16 like mini Barbie type princess dolls. That's pretty awesome. Ooh, there's a new dress shop dress, and this one is so cute. It's a Remy themed one. This one has really obvious pockets. I love that Remy and his buddy are embroidered. And this one is $128, just like normal. So it looks like in Hallow Thanksgiving mess right now where we have some Halloween treats still some Thanksgiving and the pumpkin pie and we're moving into Christmas so um, Rice Krispies they have all of the holidays looks like the cupcakes they have three different Christmas ones a chocolate a vanilla and a red velvet and then they have two um, Halloween still marshmallow wands then they show the Halloween cookies, but they did have Christmas ones over there. They just don't have them on display. So it looks like it's a gingerbread, the Christmas cookie. Um, yeah, I don't know if I would like that. But it's only $3.99, so it's cheaper than all the other ones, but it is smaller too. So it is official. Monorail service has stopped at the Polynesian Village. Um, so basically you just have to go to Grand Floridian and walk back or TTC and walk over. TTC is closer. So I would suggest getting off at the TTC and you can literally just like the parking lot connects. It's super easy to get to. Well, it's starting to get hot.
Yeah. It was a nice cool morning when we got here. It was like oh, 66. Oh, I know. It's gorgeous. But now it's probably like getting closer to 80. Yeah, it's, it's creeping up there. Yeah, so we're going to call it a morning. We saw a lot of stuff. We got to ride Jingle Cruise, yeah. Haunted Mansion, yes. and Little Mermaid. All basically yes. walk on. Jingle Cruise waited a Jingle little bit. Jingle Cruise we had to wait. But they were loading kind of slow. I don't know if it was just early and in the I day. And I think we hit like right at the tail end of a cleaning round too. So. Yes, but it wasn't even 30 minutes, I don't think. It was, it was quick. Because the theming in there is so great, you get distracted. Yeah, you, you just pay, you're like looking at all the decorations and not paying attention to how long you're waiting. Want to take a picture? Oh no, no, no we're, we're good. Filming. Thank you. But if you guys like these videos, please click that subscribe button, tap the like, and ring that notification bell so you always know when a new video is headed your way. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for watching, and now we're on, on to the, the next adventure. adventure. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Today's video brought to you by Orlando for Families. For amazing prices and even better customer service on all of your stroller rental needs for your Orlando vacation, visit them at the website listed below, www.orlandoforfamilies.com. Use the promo code OHANA to save 15% off of their already competitive prices.